When a long dormant volcano in Alaska started showing new signs of activity last year, scientists used new technologies to quickly analyze large amounts of data. Nobody knew what was going on, and we were able within a couple of days uh, to do uh, an analysis of almost eight years of data that would previously have taken weeks to months. Most volcano observation uses satellites to measure how the ground around volcanoes is moving. That data is then transferred to local servers and downloaded for analysis. But those large files can take a long time to download and analyze. The new system allows volcano observers to store and analyze that data in the cloud. This saves time and provides faster volcano updates with better computer modeling to improve eruption prediction. That's especially important in Alaska, says geophysicist Max Enders. I think, I think in a lot of ways, we're almost always at the forefront of a lot of this technology. We have a lot of active volcanoes that are, that are erupting quite frequently that we have to, to monitor. And people worldwide will come to Alaska to study volcanoes because there's, there's so much opportunity to, to study active volcanoes here. Using cloud-based systems to automate the processing of volcanic yeah. data makes everyone safer, says geophysicist Michael Poland. That's getting us towards this, this vision of sort of a, an international, global, virtual observatory that's capable of serving out data and, and analyzing results sort of in an automated and real-time basis. And uh, that's gonna really level the playing field. This new technology allowed the Alaska Volcano Observatory to conclude more quickly that the unusual activity at Mount Edgecombe did not pose an immediate risk. But they have installed new seismic instruments on the mountain to better monitor its activity. Phil Dierking, VOA News, Seattle.